Okay, so this is the home on the outside, and you can see right there the brick is not done yet, or and actually the rock that'll be that way. Yeah, I think it'll be a combination of brick and rock. I'm not sure. We'll find out. The house next door is built but not owned yet, and you can see down the street here. It's kind of a nice street. All two stories around us. Next door, of course, we've got one, uh, one story right across the street. There's two lots here that still be built on right across the street from you. And then some more down there you can see. These two look like they've already been bought and lived in. So we're back to the house where we're going to go view in. There'll be a driveway here and a sidewalk and sod and grass and everything else. I'll tell you about more of those amenities when we get the paperwork out. So, excuse my out of breath. I was running around to get it all opened up. So we have a nice little foyer here, and we walk in, and you can see all the way back to the back door and the stairs. To the right right here is where we go from the garage. So the garage you can see is quite tall. Um, you can even get some storage above that garage door. And then there's a little cubby hole over here where the water heater is and so forth. So you can see that's quite nice. There'll be steps or something to get in there. I had to step down. To the left when we walked in is where there's a formal dining room and it's pretty good sized um, for all the formal. That door right there or that opening goes into the kitchen but we'll go back over this way. So this is our living room downstairs. You can see that they're covering that other flooring right now with some paper and then we move around to see the kitchen. And the kitchen's nice and tall. Of course it's not all done yet because we're still in a, a build situation. Let me show you what this granite looks like. And you can see it's this black with a nice little sparkles in it. And it's pretty nice. Go around, there's the kitchen. There's where your refrigerator go. That's where the, the, the dishwasher will go. And then that's your living room. Look around the corner here, and this is what you'd be looking at if you were to be cooking at this particular spot, the stove over here. So we go down this hallway next to the stairs. The first thing we've got to the right is a small, not large actually, large pantry, another one. Looks like there's two pantries here. And then we come around over here and we've got a nice size closet to the left, right and left here. And you see that this closet's deep. Um, look how really deep it is, so there's lots of storage there. The next door we go to is going to be a bathroom. The bathroom is um, a toilet on this side and then a big area here for the sink. So we move back around here to this next door. Nice about this house is that the laundry room is separate from the garage or entrance. You don't have to go through it to get there. Okay, so my video is getting a little long. I'm going to try to make it to part of the master real quick and then I'll do another one. So you go around the corner here and we go towards the master area. You can see here that this is the bedroom for the master area. And as soon as you turn in, is a nice size closet. Um, little access point there, it looks like, to get underneath there. And there's some storage underneath the, the thing there for it. So we go this way, and we get into the bathroom. We got two sinks, a toilet, and a shower, and a tub. So not too awful big, but not bad at all for what we're looking for. You'll see there's a huge loft up here. So I'm gonna show you again that that's where the closet is as you exit your, your uh, master and I'll make another recording starting here.